Great. Hi. Hi. What's up? Cool. I'm so excited about my new calendar. Oh my gosh, kittens. They're so cute. I got some poems for y'all. Is that all right? Yay. Is that all right? Cool, this first one's called Mahu. Skin keep every god silenced, boy. Staring at the bathroom signs like crossroads, boy, life in a crossroads, boy. Did you know she goes by? He, she, and they see boy makes it to the conversation before they do. Boy murdered in conversations, boy with no breaths left to give, boy stabbed too many times to be televised, the revolution of the boy. It will not be televised, boy, bullied off the bridge, boy, bullied into a bullet, boy, buried as a girl, boys, boys buried in there or them or him or she, missing from history altogether, missing from research altogether, boy with no mama or daddy to call on, boy homeless with a home, with a house, boy falls. Boy doesn't make sound. Boy too beautiful to be boxed in. Boy too proud to be boxed out. Boy swallow pronouns like a bullet and keep walking. Boy body you in a basketball game and keep talking. Boys shot mistaken for a gun. Boys hips mistaken for a gun. Boys dick mistaken for a gun. Boys hand mistaken for a gun. Boy shot down. Boy bleed every month. Still live to tell the story, still live to write the poem, still live to tell the story, still live to write the poem. Thanks y'all. Cool, I am so, so, so excited to be here. It is like, I have been having the best Saturday ever. Like, thank y'all so much for um, giving me the opportunity to feature for Types again. It's so cool to be back in this space. Give it up for yourselves, y'all. Types is amazing. I'm so happy that this exists in the city, and oh, it just makes me so happy. Um, this poem is called uh, B-W-C-O-I. W W H D and um, yeah, my wife titled that one. So she's not here tonight, but if you see, you're gonna have to ask her what that means. <laughs> you are made of hope and wishes and joy and dust and the desire to see tomorrow. Tomorrow holds the beginning, the unfinished of yesterday, and yesterday is built out of yesterdays where once your ancestry stood. Breathing into this wind that now feels like your own, but it too belonged to your ancestry once they once were young and hopeful, with a fleeting heart inside of their chest, with the world inside of their palms, they once lived while wondering what can be better or worse than this while holding on to a world that barely held on to them, yet still they chose the sun each morning, still chose the moon each evening, still chose their family, still chose to fight, still chose to grit their teeth, still chose to break free, still chose to believe in their truth, still chose to question, still chose to love, still chose to make their kind of love, still chose to dream of you without knowing that you could even exist. You, you were once unfathomable. You, you were once unbelievable, once fiction that felt so real in their hearts but sounded so silly on their tongues. You, their magic. You, ancestor in the making. You, believer of a better world while living in a world that feels so goddamn unbelievable. You, Still choosing the sun, still choosing the moon, still choosing to fight, grinding teeth, breaking free, questioning and loving in a world that will soon let go of your hands but will always hold on to your dreams. For a future that will dream of a future the way your ancestors dreamt of you, a future 
that will dream while carrying the reality of your dreams into existence. Thanks, y'all. Cool. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out how to coexist with this thing, but this is my first chat book. Say hi. Hi. It's dope. It's also like sometimes like a bit like braver than me. Like it's like, hey, Teray, like we should go to Texas during the Trump era and read some poems. Come on. And I'm like, what? <laughs> no, <laughs> we should not. And then it's like, Teray, Teray, we should go to the Smithsonian. I, like, I think I should debut there. And I'm like, what? No, we should not. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to just kind of be on this journey. This is my first time having a small book or a book. And it's a really... A really um, interesting experience. Um, I'm selling some tonight. They're uh, ten dollars. Yeah. Um, so yeah, cop one if you like it. Um, I want to talk about hope, etc. Really quick. Um, so when my grandfather passed away, he had like this really cool vision um, for this like business called Hope, where it was going to help like uh, youth in Texas where he was displaced after Hurricane Katrina, and um, he called it helping others prepare for excellence. And like the idea was to help build platforms for people, um, particularly people that aren't always uh, like platforms aren't really built with them in mind, um, and to kind of give voice to the few people that felt voiceless and have support um, for them to be the best version of themselves. So he passed away um, without really like doing much with that but coming up with the name. And a couple years ago, I was able to kind of buy it and figure out how to get like the licensing and stuff. And I was like, hey, like we can maybe do that in Tucson with like chat books and like maybe like gigs and stuff like that. So that's kind of what Hope Etc. is. Um, cool, y'all ready for another poem? Yeah. All right, can I get real with y'all really quick? You sure? Mm. All right, cool. Well, then here we go. For the white liberal is carrying this book with both hands. Hey. Woo. Or listening to it right now. It doesn't say that, but I figured none of y'all are carrying it. So. Just throw that in there. It's for y'all, too. You breathe in our music. Cover our songs. Dress yourselves in our cool. Hold our theories up like gods. Build your ideologies and art on our people. The way we muse you, the way we move you, the way recordings of our murdered bodies hang from your social media platforms with sad faces, the way you refer to our body as intellect slang, the way you walk with us, blood on your hands, heavy hearted and call our murdered your life's work, our murders your academic commodity, the way you wear us on your chest, post us on the back of your car, chant with us, hands up, don't shoot you, open palmed hands in the sky armed with anger, a poster child of fear on your face, tossing a bottle of water full of guilt and salt from our tears in your garbage cans. See, it's as if to say, they ask for my papers too. Throw me against car doors too. Pull me over and call for back up on me too. I have seen the officer's hand tremble while mine is shaking too. The way you choose us, our melanin to darken your children's skin. The way you choose us, our children to awaken your children. The way you choose us, based off of our radiance glistening against the sun instead of the contents of our joy. The way you declare you hold space for us. Then hold space with our words unfolding from your mouth. Look at how righteous and progressive you are when you are fighting. Because this list be endless. Because this list be subtle. Be unable to be counted. Be white liberalism. Be more white than liberal. White enough to cover the racism that lies in the way you speak to us when we speak back. Speaking over us agreeing while you disagree. The work is in the meetings, full of white faces, discussing strategies to combat white supremacy while not naming that meeting exactly what it is. See, the work is at your dinner table, repelling racism that feasts on invisibility and is fed by silence. The work is in your board, 
is in your audience, looking nothing like your bookings. The work is in the inclusion of one of us to speak for all of us at once, counting us as status quo. The work is bringing the consciousness to your subconscious, resisting the urge to celebrate the work you are doing to hide the work that has yet to be done. See, the work exists when we exist without existing in your conversations. The work is light work and it's built to sound heavy. It's built to take too much time. But that work is your work and that work looks nothing like mine. That work is your work and that work looks nothing like mine. I got um, another one for y'all. This one is called Place. Can I get real with y'all? A little bit? Woo! Maybe? Okay, cool. So, is the time? Okay. So I wanna talk about this. Um, in this place, women we don't like, when they walk through this world, they deserve safety too. In this place, if the story was about my wife, or if the story was about my brother, or if the story was about my best friend, if the story was a joy to be around, would having proof of the story's truth actually matter? In this place, there's not enough work a person can do here. There are not enough friends that they can have there are not enough accolades that one can carry to make accountability negotiable. See, in this place, 